my grandfather passed. I only saw him once or twice a year, but it was sad to see someone I was familiar with pass like that. Kinda like losing a part of yourself. My parents were also organizing through his stuff, and so I was going home alone. He seemed so good the last time I saw him. By then, they had already told him how much longer he had to live, but I've never seen him upset or sad. My father and mother knew about it too, but everything seemed normal. I'm sure they're sadder than I am. They probably didn't want to worry me, but I'm still a kid and I can't do things like that. Man, adults are crazy. The train was going so fast and everything was flying past at super fast speeds. The memories with him are growing distant by the second, but my chest still hurt. It was at that moment that suddenly I was in a shadow. I looked up. There was a sickly looking woman who had a very pretty face. We must have been around the same age. I can't anymore. What? She sat next to me and started sleeping. Out of the blue. The train isn't busy. There are plenty of other seats, but she sat next to me. I guess I could just move seats. I realized that after about five minutes, and in that five minutes, I had a reason I could no longer move. The woman had put her head on my shoulder. Hey! Ugh. No, not uh. Please, five more minutes. Then I'll work hard again. Work hard, huh? She was basically grunting under her breath. I feel like you're working hard enough when you're all wobbly on a bullet train. I remembered my grandpa. He always acted strong around me, but he must have been suffering behind the scenes. I don't know who this is, but maybe she has to act tough in front of other people. I mean, I was just guessing. It's just a shoulder. Whatever, I'll get off soon. Then I gave her another ten minutes and... Hey, wake up! Huh? Oh, sorry. I'm not asleep. I can do this. You're absolutely asleep. You up? Uh, where am I? In the train. Who are you? I'm your pillow. Huh? You wobbled over here and then I lent you my shoulder where you slept. I'm sorry about that. That's fine. Don't push yourself too much. Why? You said something about trying hard or something? No way. Really? I don't know what's going on in your life or anything, and I'm just a stranger, but you should really think about how hard you work. A lot of people are rooting for me and counting on me to work hard. It's fine. Huh? You're working hard enough to where you're wobbling around. I can tell how hard you work, and I barely know you. If there are people on your side, then they'll... The train started to slow down. Ah, I gotta get off. You? Not yet. Okay, see ya. Hey, what's your name? I'm Sosuke Shimazaki. I'm Yoko Natsukawa. You can go to sleep, but make sure you get off at the right stop. <laughs> I'm not gonna wake you up anymore. That's all we said. By the time I got food from the store and got home, I had forgotten about her. But I would see her again one more time. Hey. Hello? Ugh. Wake up, you're gonna be late for school. Reina? Morning, Sochan. What are you doing here? Your mom asked me. She said you'd definitely be late, so I needed to check up on you. Where did you get the key? I have the keys, of course. While they're gone, I'm going to handle all of the chores. What, are you some kind of maid? Wrong! I'm your cute, cute childhood friend. Don't call yourself cute. Then you should tell me that I'm cute. Ought I say that, stupid? What? Men don't say things like that easily. You're just cynical, though. Uh, shut up. I'm gonna go get dressed, so get out. Yeah, yeah, breakfast is ready. Then she left my room. I got changed, ate breakfast, and headed to school. The usual morning. But I didn't know that I would be facing a strange day coming up. How was the funeral? It's not exactly something you comment on. I mean, yeah, but... Did you cry? No way. How old do you think I am? I don't know. You're pretty easy on the tears and crying. You keep talking. Yeah, I will. I'm gonna tell everyone. Would you be okay if you didn't? I demand an ice cream if you don't want me to talk. 
I mean, I did say goodbye, though. Good. I'm glad. Yeah. Your grandpa was a cool guy. He was kind, serious, and a little bad mouth, but he was kind of like you. I guess I'm cool then, huh? You were the one that said you shouldn't say things like that. And you're the one that made it sound that way. I'm a girl, so I guess I can say things like that honestly. Yeah, you're a cool guy. I feel like you're mocking me. Why? We were walking to school as usual. Morning! Huh? I was only out for like three days. Dude, is that photo real? One of my classmates rushed me. What are you talking about? You kind of pop it off on social media. What? I looked for my photo and almost immediately found it. There was that girl, Natsukawa or something, leaning on my shoulder. Who took a photo of this? Pretty gross. Honestly, why would you post this? Is this real? I mean, yeah, I just let her sleep on my shoulder. Whoa, you are... Uh... What? You know who she is? It's Yoko Natsukawa, right? That's what she told me. Yeah, the model! Uh-huh. Yeah, apparently, she was a model, and she's popular amongst all boys and girls our age. She's on variety TV shows and has been working as an actress and voice actor, too. All of my classmates were explaining it to me. You really don't know? I don't really watch TV. Then you really don't have anything going on with her? Of course not. She was tired, so I let her sleep. I'll probably never see her again. Okay, then good. No, not good. I'm jealous. I'm so jealous. But I'll forgive you. And on whose behalf am I being forgiven? On behalf of all fans around the world. Oh, it must be tough being that famous, huh? People screaming just because you slept on someone's shoulder. It's an important topic. We were talking about it before the bell went off, so I didn't notice Reyna transforming behind me. Her hair was standing like a cat, her eyes sharp, looking like a devil behind me. No one was able to say anything from how intense her look was. So no one heard her say this. Ugh, he's mine. After class. Hey, Reyna. Hello, Reyna-chan. Reyna! Why are you so upset all day? No reason. I saw that photo on X. We're talking about that damned picture too? That girl was really pretty. Yeah, she was pretty, huh? Ugh. What? You said boys don't say that kind of thing easily, but with her it's super easy, huh? I mean, it's true. So, I'm not cute? Not when you look angry. Sochan, whatever, I'm going home. Going home? Ugh. What about dinner? I don't know, go buy something for yourself. You're asked by my mom to cook for me? I don't make dinner for people who aren't loyal. She walked away. Seriously? Whatever. I see. Want me to make you some dinner? Huh? Seriously? Seriously, seriously. As a thank you and sorry. Wait, what? Hello again, my boy. I came to see you. Yoko Natsukawa, right? Yep, that's me. What are you doing here? I said to apologize and say thanks. You know the whole thing on social media, right? I didn't know that someone was taking photos. Sorry. No, I mean, how did you find out where I live? Oh, I knew your station. Also, your information was leaked on social media. Damn. I'll make a public post to explain, but it might be a little noisy for a while. Okay, then. You're okay with that? Not really, but I mean, what am I going to do? You're kind. Come on, let's go eat. You have any recommendations? I do. Oh, what's up? Are you sure you should be here? What do you mean? I mean, if you have time to come see me, you should sleep. No, no, you were the perfect pillow to let me sleep. It was like 10 minutes. Nope. It really had been a long time since I'd slept that comfortably. And besides, I wanted to see you again. Why? Because you were the first person that said I'm working hard enough, so I don't need to work harder. In other words, you're all right. I see. You happy? Not a bad feeling. So... What? That girl you were with. Girlfriend? Nope, just a childhood friend. I see, I see. I thought that it'd come chase after me, so I was alright getting upset, but he didn't come. I didn't hear him. 
I turned around and he was talking to some random girl. And he seemed to be having a lot of fun. Ugh, he's mine! Once again, that voice was unheard. I see. Then I don't need to worry. Worry about? Uh, nothing. Let's go. Is that enough? Yeah. That's why you're always tired. Eat some meat. Look, I'm a model, you know. I can't just eat what I want. You really have a tough job, huh? Yeah, but I'm more attractive, you know? I knew it. What? You really are working hard enough. So stop pushing yourself. You're not saying to skip out, are you? Of course not. That's not what I mean. I know. I think you mean I can relax and let out a little breath, right? Correct. But still, I didn't realize you'd take me to this beautiful cafe. What do you mean? I thought that you'd take me to some kind of lunch hall, like most boys. I can tell what kind of image you have of me. You mad? Not really, no. My first crush was the same way, so I figured it'd be the same way. Uh-huh. I told you I liked you. You can't be in a relationship, right? I'm not an idol. My agency is fine with that. I see. Want to go out with me? That sounds nice, but no. Why? This kind of thing is going to go on every day, right? Yeah. That's too much for me. You're not honest with yourself, are you? What do you mean? Look, if your childhood friend... Reina? Yeah, Reina-chan. If Reina-chan was in the same position as me, what would you say? Would you say you should relax? Um, probably not. Why? Because she's like my family. I'll support her so that she doesn't crumble under herself. So I'll make her work hard, even if she cries. <laughs> wow, Spartan training. Yeah, I'm a mean man. Thanks. What? For turning me down gently. And you weren't serious either. Don't know, I might have been a little bit more serious. She smiled and looked more beautiful than anyone I'd ever seen. After Sosuke finished eating and headed to the bathroom, Yoko crept towards the table. Um, yes? I have a favor. What is it? S Sochan is mine, so please don't take him from me. <laughs> What's so funny? No, no, sorry. This is nice. What? Don't worry, he just rejected me. Huh? Apparently, he likes someone else. What? Yoko thought this was a little mean, but this is fine. I mean, he did just reject me for her. Reina didn't realize what she was doing. Huh? What are you doing here, Reina? Um... She just walked by and I invited her over. You know, it's probably better if a girl is here in case someone takes a photo, right? No, um... I don't really get what you're saying, but try not to get any more photos taken of you. For some reason, we all ate cake. Nasukawa only ate half and my childhood friend ate what she left behind. What is going on? I don't really care. They were having fun, so I was okay with it. This is just nice. Thank you for the meal. Um, sorry for making you pay for me, too. It's fine. This is the first time I'd had this much fun in a long time. Um, she's a Maki-kun. I'm going to keep pushing. It's going to be tough, and I might be at my limit, but I want to go higher. Okay, then I won't stop you. Yeah. But I won't tell you to push harder. Okay. I'll just watch you on TV or magazines or something. See you shine. <laughs> That's the best form of support you can give me. She disappeared into the distance. That was the last time we ever saw each other. All right, time to go home. Yeah. Hey, that girl is really, really great. Yeah, she's not too bad. I wonder if I could be like her. Probably not. Why do you have to say things like that? You don't have to be. It seems tough, and if you're that popular, it'd be tough to be around you. I see. What? You don't like not being able to be around me, huh? We've always been around each other all the time. I don't want that person to not be around me anymore. Right. It hurts like a part of me is missing. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Then I guess I'm a little relieved. You seem like you're in a better mood. You better make me that dinner tomorrow. 
Huh? Aren't your parents coming home tomorrow? Who cares? I mean, sure, whatever, okay. Hold my hand. What? No, come on. No dinner, then. Uh, fine, here. You like someone, huh? Who said that? Natsukawa-san. She said you rejected her. I see. You like someone? Yeah, I do. Can I ask who? You can kind of tell by now, right? But I want to hear it. Eh, it's a secret for now. I'll tell you eventually. Fine. I'll be waiting, though. The stars were shining in the sky. The moon was out, too. They were all shining down on us and our shadows merged into one. It wasn't a super popular model next to me, but a very jealous childhood friend. I'm sure it's going to be that way for a while. I wished and hoped that it would be.